Welcome to this cave! Riveting stuff, isn't it? Oh. It's it's very scenic and picturesque. Have I ever talked about cat butthole? You may need to be more specific. <laughs> We've there, definitely talked about cat buttholes before. <laughs> there used to be a map on Counter-Strike, the original Counter-Strike. It probably oh, still it like exists. Pitch, I, I think you did tell yeah, me about it. Yeah, it's called this. Cat Butthole. And it was just a room. It was pitch black. It's a really odd concept. Perhaps yep. we should use Flash, though, so that we do not live in a cat's butthole. What? Why? What? Oh, Bob, do your thing. Oh, not not Pikachu. Oh, we could uh, teach it to Pikachu and nullify the purpose of Bob being here. Pow! Pow! pow. Great. Damn, look at so, all that. So, now see. you're in a cave. Uh, uh, you will be pleased to know yes. that in this cave you can catch Zubats. Oh, and Mankeys. And Mankeys. I already have a Mankey, though. I think you have a Mankey of approximately the same level as this Mankey. Alright, I will kill this Mankey. Okay. Uh, with my Kapow! Oh, he didn't that. like that. Nope. Oh, he chopped me. At least he didn't locate you. Oh, oh that he was... critically hit you, though. That was pretty good. Oh, he's oh, paralyzed but now there. He's... Yeah, that's... So, yep. Mm -hmm. So... Yes. Who should I switch to? What? Switch? What? Uh, what? Um... Uh, was, you're kind not... of in an awkward position here. I mean... Mr. Cleo's probably okay. Alright. Like, he doesn't have great physical defense, but he will resist the attack. And also, like, immediately murder. Yes. Super much murder time. Super much murder time. Come on, Mr. Cleo, you're too cool for this bullshit. I have that scheduled on my uh, on my daily calendar for around 6.30 p.m. So murder time? Murder time? Mm, yeah. Super fake. I have to do it early, because I go to bed early, you know. Yeah. Normally, I'd wait till about, like, 7.38. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, uh... It's a good time for horse training as well. I got a, I got a bag. A bag. Are you saying that you have a bag, or that you have to bag? I have to bag. I see. I need to, it is important that Are I Are you bag. saying that the Pikachu needs food bad bag? Yes. Bag hag? Bag hag. I don't want a bag hag. Is it a hag that you need to put a bag on? Uh, That's I mean, I think by definition a hag is that, isn't it? Look, there's some water. Oh. Yeah, we've encountered this, air quotes, sprite before. Uh, it's that manky. No, it's a I'm different sorry. one. This one's female. Alright, I'm gonna leave now. Are you sure? Yes. Cause, are you sure? Positive. <laughs> My justification for asking that is asking it again? Shot the fuck that guy, right? Oh, there's a ball. I gotta catch it. Gotta catch him ball. It's that a one's Geo dude. Uh, I think my Pikachu will not be super effective against Geo. That would be an accurate assessment. But you know what he's good at? Running, Running away. away. So, what do you think of the ball? It's... It's a repel. Repel. You could use it here, but I don't know if you want to. Uh, I'm starting to feel like I want to. I'm just really sick of my keys. I mean, if you're sick of my you could just put, you know, Mr. Cleo out in front. He would also be pretty good at running away. Right, I mean, but I want to get you to level. I don't know. Are you, are you just expecting more Zubats? Is that the plan? I don't know. Are you picking two in front for Zubats? Well, I haven't seen any Zubats. There's nothing but Geodudes and Mankeys. Why are all these monkeys hanging out in a cave? That's a really good question. It's not a place for monkeys. I'm talking. There's something weird about about Mankeys. Like I had said previously, I've, I've never much trained them or given much thought to them. All right. So I would just like to point out that according to this, which has been fairly accurate so far. Encounter rate on Zubat, 30%. Encounter rate on Mankey, 15%. Shut Encounter rate on different fighting Pokemon, 15%. Encounter rate on Geodude, 35%. Which, that seems to be somewhat accurate. Yeah. And then there's a rare Pokemon here of Encounter rate 5%, which we have not seen yet. Are you going to tell me who the rare Pokemon is? Uh, do you, do you want it to be a mystery, or do you want to know? Is it, is it a mystery I'll be excited about, or that I won't give a shit? You will probably have very neutral feelings, but want to catch it because you have some sort of obligation to catch them all. Alright, you should tell me what it is, then. Uh, it's an Onyx. Oh, I would like an Onyx. I thought I caught an Onyx. I don't believe we've had an opportunity to catch an Onyx. You've fought at least two Onyxes. There's no other way to go, Onyxes? Right? Um, I don't think so. I do have a tiny map here. It's a little difficult to reference because it is small. But you are correct, there's no other way to go. So I just need to go north. Yeah. Going north. Killing all the Geodudes. It's also unhelpful because I have a map for, I believe there's only two floors here. Uh, however, it doesn't really show how the ladders connect. I've made an educated guess, but I'm not really sure. Oh, hey, look, there's hey, that look, it's, we mentioned yeah, earlier. Hey, look, yeah, yeah. Wish I had Pikachu. <laughs> well, you're, you're also super effective against this. And you're getting speed EVs. That's always good. I mean, it's good for, you know, a Kadabra. Mm -hmm. I'll figure out how to level him. One day. I assume by level you mean Evolve? Yes, that one. Um, have you have you had any time to look at that at all? Well, you're here now. It's a rugged rock, but a Pokemon may still be able to smash it. 
Rock Smash. It's a thing. Oh, Rock Smash. It's Rock Smash Appreciation Day, everybody. It is Rock Smash Appreciation Day. Mostly because every day is Rock Smash Appreciation Day. Every day it is actually Rock Smash. Uh, my educated guess about how the ladders work was very incorrect. Okay, great. Um, but now I know where we are. Okay. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. I don't know. There's like four items in this cave. This All cave right. is not actually as big as it seems to be. Okay. But it's still gonna be a huge pain in the ass because it's a Pokemon cave and that's how they work. So I don't have. I swear there's like a triple encounter rate on just everything in Pokemon caves. Yeah. I feel like you're just constantly beset upon by Geodudes and shit. That's true. But it's fine. I'm just gonna kill them all. Hey, complete tangent. Have you been watching Westworld? I've watched the the season premiere. I have not watched the uh, the next episode oh, yet. Okay. Which came out the other day, right? Yeah, although they, they started streaming it early because it was going to like coincide with the presidential debates on uh, the East Coast. Smart, smart. Yeah, it was smart. Um, but I asked because like somewhat early in the episode, someone uses the word bespoke, which I know you're weirdly attached to. It's a good word. It's a good word. It's a good word. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. However, I'm in this cave, so I'm not doing that. You know what else is a good word? Hmm. Prevaricate. Uh, I don't know what that one means. Uh, it means to, like, like procrastinate, essentially. Uh. But see, I feel like I'm more inclined to use the word procrastinate, not only because I'm more familiar with it, but also because it seems like a more satisfying word to me. I know, prevaricate sounds pretty nice. Prevaricate. Yeah, but prevaricate just sounds like you're trying to show off. It doesn't sound like a word you use in conversation. There's a time for that, but generally I, I like a... I like a layman's word. Eh, I like... I'm not a fancy words guy, you know? I like being a fancy words guy. It's fun. It's fun to know fancy words. How do you feel about this poke? He's pretty slow. Do you have any additional feelings? Um... He's pretty dead. He's somewhat dead at this point. It would be funny. It would be funny. Would it be funny? It would be funny. Would it? No, it wouldn't be funny. Never mind. Uh, oh, Pikachu leveled up. Hooray! Uh, it would be funny if they actually died. Not fainted, died. Just like, bleh, just completely just lost. I mean, that's the premise of a Nuzlocke run, which you, you you may have noticed there's there have been some comments on. Yeah, people have been doing them. Yeah. Apparently, uh, I think Arcadius, Arcadius has done multiple one, of them. He did one recently. in one day, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, he listed his team in, in the comments of a recent episode. He did. Hashtag dating the time between episode recordings. Yep. That was, uh... Ugh. I literally can't This is what I'm saying about caves. I, I feel like just encounters happen more often than just, like, a grassy field when you're in a cave. Uh, I was, I was streaming, um, some more Costume Quest a little while ago. Costume Quest 2. And I started off by, like, saying the date. And someone said, like, you should just, like, incorrectly date these streams. <laughs> like, the time when they were actually recorded. I was like, October 5th, 1842. <laughs> So, yeah, but I, I actually, I actually like use the dates. They're that would just, that would just be inconvenient for me, is what that would be. Yeah, it's not very effective. Ah, you missed. I am so going how to how slide. would you say that you like understand like type matchups? In uh, relatively well. I knew that wasn't going to do much, but I figured I'd do it anyway. Okay. Um, you know they've they've made them more complicated now yeah, by adding like, steel and all that shit. Yeah, but like. Aww. He smells Steel so sweet. and dark aren't particularly good against a ton of things, um, and like you don't need to know that many oh, things that are good against them. Yeah. I, I mean, mean some of them are like weirdly unintuitive. Like steel is good against ice. I don't know why. Well, all right, you just you use an ice pick to kill ice that's made of steel or something. I, I, I guess, but like if you're gonna go that far, like isn't steel just good against like practically everything? Not not electricity. No, but like it should be good against like grass. Should be good against like. Well, if you, like imagine trying to hit a bunch of grass lawnmower with with, with, a, with steel. Oh yeah, good point. but that's sharp. Just a, a rod. I'm picturing a rod of steel, right? The grass just bends right by it. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, but like, like a good number of steel Pokemon are, are basically like swords for hands. Yeah, that's a good point. What is this grass trader doing in this cave? It's a great Don't question. Don't they understand that caves are for, like, rock and fighting type Pokemon? That's why that's all you can find here other than Zubats, because Zubats are just everywhere. They are just everywhere. 
Hey, I want you guys to do me a favor. Uh, look over to the right where you see the suggested YouTube videos, now look back to me. Now look back at those videos, look back at me, I'm a Zubat. Because there's always a Zubat somewhere. <laughs> Indeed. Stop razor leafing! It has a high chance of critically hitting. Did you know that? I did not know that. That's how I should do this entire let's play. It's just like- No! Ah! Uh! What did you- What did you do? I was aiming for- for quick attack. To kill him. Instead, I used Thundershot. That might still kill him, frankly. I mean, it probably will, but I, I would not have taken so much damage. True. You're, you're, you seem to... You, you seem to have been really eager with your, your like, commands lately. We, we had that incident yeah. in, in Diglett's cave. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and this is perhaps a similar incident. That Pikachu's getting nice up and close. May, perhaps I'll touch your face soon. Well, that'd be nice. I was gonna get mad. I was gonna be like, why is it okay for Pikachu to touch? That's racist. Pikachu. I bet he's warm and fuzzy, too. You are not. Wait, you are neither of those things. That's really hurtful, yep. and I disagree with you Take that. on exactly one of them, <laughs> but I don't wish to discuss this further. <laughs> you actually are fuzzy. <laughs> Look, it's a Machop. It I is. I never caught a Machop. No, because it's the first time you see him in the wild. Oh. However, if you use confusion on it, it'll most likely die. Yeah. Recover then? <laughs> sure. Uh, no, teleport. <laughs> what would be bad against it? Well, Stay Puff's kind of low level. Yes, however, he will be super effective against Stay Puff. Um. I would say, like. Actually, like... Bob might be okay for this. Really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> because, like, he, he doesn't take weakness damage and, like, shouldn't be strong enough to, like, destroy him. Uh huh. Uh, tackle? Uh, Sonic Boom? It okay. shouldn't kill him, I'm just wondering how close it'll get him. Oh, you missed. Well, you, you used it. Oh, wow. Why did that- Oh, critical hit. But he's paralyzed. So, so just throw a Pokeball at him? Uh, did I replenish my Pokeballs? I did, yeah. You got some more. I would try Sonic Booming again. Really? Yeah. I mean, you'll move before him because he's paralyzed. Ah. The question is like, do you care what happens to Bob during the course of this game? Well, if Bob dies, then I can't flash him. Can oh no, I can. Yes, you you specifically can. Yeah. That's but if Bob dies, I can't use him to catch anything else. True, but the only other thing that you're gonna want to catch here is Otis, and uh, he would not be good for catching Otis. All right, it's fine. I'm gonna use him. Anyway. You sure he wouldn't be good for catching Otis? I know he's weak. He's not weak to. He's not good against rock types, but I could just tackle. Yeah, but like tackle's oh, gonna well. be like super weak. Okay, great. That was not really anymore. His his focus energy was super motherfucking effective. Not like super effective, yeah. but like super motherfucking effective. Yeah. I don't know, I don't even quick attack, sure. Just Do it, Pikachu! Quick, quick attack? Probably not. No. You, it's however, fair. are also paralyzed. You can't even focus energy twice. That doesn't work that way. Still can't move. It's fine. He'll do the dumb move again. No one nope. can move. <laughs> God, I wish I could say this is the first time I've seen a battle like this. I've been through many. This is amazing. This is the best <laughs> battle I've ever seen. You just splash attack, Magic. <laughs> that did not kill him. It, well, it, I mean, it wasn't supposed to. God, like, I get that focus energy increases his critical hit chance, but I have never seen it like caused three consecutive critical hits before. That's pretty ridiculous. Alright, I'm a Pokeball. I don't actually know what the statistics on that are, but that seems rather unlikely. He's also paralyzed, so that's a good sign, right? Yeah, no, this should work. He's no angry Doug Trio. I got it! Oh, I gotta think of a name. You do. I hate this part. That's fine, because there's the requisite stalling segment. Loves to build its muscles. It trains in all styles of martial arts to become even stronger. <sighs> Every kind of martial art. Nothing. He's a martial artist. So the problem is, is that He's like a martial artist. I can't name him Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan because he's already a Hitmonlee and a Hitmonchan. Right. And I, I think it would be funny to name them the opposite name. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that if I ever catch them. Well, you can. You, those are ones that are gifted to you, and you only get to pick one. Oh, 
But you can name it the opposite. I will definitely do that. Um, well, uh, so you could either think, first off, apparently it's a Lady Machop. Which oh, is... what am I doing? Oh, it's a Lady Machop. Oh, that, that, that affects things. I was just about to name him, uh, some variant of Jean-Claude Van Damme. Um, but he's a lady. You're gonna go with Ronda Rousey, UFC champion? Not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Well, she was taken down by, like, Holly Holm or something? Yeah, I think that sounds about right. You, yeah. you know way more about UFC than I thought you did. I've learned all sorts of weird shit from that radio show I listen to. Alright. I know more about football than I want to. <laughs> uh, sure, Ronda. R-O-N-D-A. There may be a silent H in there, but honestly, I don't... Well, we don't give a shit. Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help. So, someone at Ron that... The, one of the producers of that radio show named their dog Rhonda Ruffy and <laughs> has never stopped taking shit for it. <laughs> what is... This? See, that's weird. It's just rocks. It's just rocks. Get, get up. It's funny to me, though, that you're like, why do you know so much about UFC? But clearly you know something along those lines. I do. But, like... I don't know. Your your like knowledge of things is more specific than mine. There were like several interviews leading up to that, and then like a debrief interview where they're like, "Wow, you beat her. We were not <laughs> expecting that. It was actually quite awkward." Um, but also, I just like remember all sorts of shit. Like, I just remember useless information. That's true. That's the problem is there's no way to monetize that, which has been, like, the issue with my entire life. Because <laughs> if there was a way to monetize that, like, shit, I'd be awesome at whatever that is. <laughs> I mean... I think it's called trivia games. That's not... viable. Do you want to use a Perla's Hill? Um, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? Oh my god. Oh my god. What characters? At least it's not, like, extra special uncomfortable. It's not like, have you heard of Pokemon yipping? Like, <laughs> nope! Canceling this battle! No, sir! Leaving the cave now! Go away! Feel bad about yourself. That did not do much. Steel is not very good against electricity. No, apparently not. I think it's the first time we've seen anyone use a steel move. Mm. And it was a fire Pokemon, for some reason. It's still not very good. Nope. Just do anything else. I, I think he's banking on the, like, 10% chance of it raising his attack. Oh, there you go. See, he can't burn you with Ember, so he's trying to do the other thing. Yeah, I probably should use Paralyzed Heal. He's gonna do this again. He's trying not to win. This because Charmander just wants to give you a hug. He's not trying to harm the Pikachu. Oh, come on. Quickly attack! Oh! Ooh, that very rarely happens outside of, like... Well, that kind of just very rarely happens in general. I wonder why. I wonder what... Did you just use electric on the ground again? Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. Doesn't even... It doesn't do anything. It doesn't any... do anything. He's a ground type. It literally doesn't do anything. I think this uh... is what got your Pikachu fainted at the start of the game. Quickly spit upon him. I will do it. I will do it, don't you worry. And it also makes that noise stop. Which is a bit of a bummer, because I know that you really liked that noise. Like, who doesn't? Uh, I don't, I don't think that there's anyone who doesn't like that noise, but I think there are some people who prefer the Zelda noise. Which one do you like better? Uh, the Zelda noise. Yeah? Yeah. Any particular reason? I mean, it's just not as loud. <laughs> like, he's about to use Charmander! He's just gonna sit down and try he's like, I'm gonna get in this quick attack. Charmander! Uh, gonna get that experience. This noise is annoying. It's fine. You defeated Steve. Got you so good. Give me all that money. Yeah, I'm rich. Gonna go into my bag what again. You, what you gonna do with all that junk? All that junk inside your bag? Oh, you know. I, you know. I don't. It was not a rhetorical <laughs> question. I'd like more information about the contents of your bag and what you plan to do with it. I forgot to switch again. It's, it's a Mankey! It's a Mankey! Gonna get all up on that Mankey? No. Okay. So you're not just gonna, like, ride its shoulders around? 
Did we teleport? I was trying to remember. I don't think teleport works in caves, but it might. Dig definitely does. You can use dig outside of battle to go to the entrance of the cave that you entered the cave. Right, right. Be confused! You know you have side view player. I know, it's just hard to get to. <laughs> like press the stick twice. I think that's an episode. Join us next time, um, and we will uh, do more of this game. Trust me. Okay. Yep. See you then. Nobody likes you. I feel like no famous person has ever been just standing around, like, loitering in a cave waiting for someone to, like, challenge them to a game. Oh, Bill Murray's a weird guy. That's true, he is a weird guy. However, I don't know if that's relevant. Woody Harrelson? No? I can see him doing something like that. But, yeah. like, what game do you think that they would be, like... And, like, how would they be expecting someone to just show up at a random cave? Yeah, you never know. You never know. Right? Somebody's bound to come to a cave once in a while. <laughs> Every now and again, right? I mean... I think we've just learned that Tech is the person doing it. <laughs> what do you mean? He's the one just like standing, he's got like a lamp in a dark cave and he's like, Who wants to play Magic the Gathering? <laughs> I brought my Omnath deck. <laughs> then there's really silence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some guy was like, uh oh, Omnath, no. <laughs>